glory and our might. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 horror comedy, Freaky. The film is uh, co-written and directed by Christopher Landon, who brought us the Happy Death Day movies. And it stars Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton. Now this film plays around with the whole Freaky Friday type formula, and you know, the body swap movies that we got absolutely loads of in the 80s and the 90s. Um, and he does his uh, Happy Death Day, Groundhog Day twist in a sense of uh, he took the concept of Groundhog Day and turned it into a horror concept for the Happy Death Day movies. Well, he's taken the Freaky Friday concept and twisted that on its head and turned it into a horror. Um, so we get um, Catherine Newton, who plays a character called Miller. Um, she's a pretty normal, average high school student. Um, but she just happens to live in a town where they have essentially a serial killer on the loose. Um, and the serial killer is called The Butcher, and he's played by Vince Vaughn. Uh, this one fateful night, she is attacked by The Butcher and stabbed. However, she's stabbed with what appears to be like a mystical knife. Um, so the following day, when they both wake up, um, Vince Vaughn has become Millie, and uh, Millie has become the butcher uh, in a sense of they have swapped bodies so this is where the comedy comes from um so we have got uh, vince vaughn running around with millie's body inside him um trying to figure out how to get her body back and stop the butcher who is now in millie's body going around and butchering everybody in his sight right what are my thoughts on freaky well i remember when this film came out and i it seemed like a lot of people were a little bit divided on it. Um, so I kind of missed it at the time. Um, I kind of, it's not that I gave it a wide berth or anything. I just, I had it on my watch list, but I never got around to watching it essentially. Um, but I have actually given this a watch now because it's on Netflix. So I watched it a few days ago with my wife. Uh, I have to say, I, I found this really quite entertaining. I didn't really have an issue with it. Is this mind-blowing is it going to you know change your world or anything like that of course not um but it's a familiar concept that has been done to death over the years you know the whole body swap thing um and they've tried to do something creative and inventive with it and i'm always for stuff like that movies that kind of play around with genres and subgenres and try to be creative with them and this film absolutely does that horror comedies for me are notoriously difficult to get right um mainly because comedy is subjective what i find funny you might not find funny um so you've got to get this balance really with the comedy but you've also got to get the balance with the horror if it's not scary then it's not a horror and if it's not funny it ain't a comedy so how do you get that balance right well i'll tell you how you get it right um you get some fairly clever writers on board but you also get vince vaughn on board now vince vaughn is a brilliant comedy actor but he's also a very underrated dramatic actor so you get a fairly led performance by by him uh, when he's playing the butcher at the beginning it's quite sinister and quite frightening and you believe him to be this senseless killer and then when he gets in Millie's body the genius of Vince Vaughn comes out you know him playing a teenage girl it's just for an actor of his skill it's just joyous to watch him you know especially when he's running i mean it's hilarious watching him do the girly run and things like that and, um it for me it's just golden and vince Vaughn, i think absolutely makes this film for me i've always been a big fan of vince Vaughn, um and he just knocks it out of the park here for me I, it was just so so good and so fun to watch but i also have to give props here to Catherine newton who plays miller not only does she absolutely convince us this plain and ordinary like high school girl, but she absolutely nails it as a, playing a sinister killer as well. It shouldn't work, but it absolutely does work, especially when the butcher, when he's in Millie's body, realises the advantages of being in Millie's body and how can use it to his advantage, but also the disadvantages, because when he is Vince Vaughn, the butcher, is a big, strong, powerful man because Vince Vaughn's very tall and very large 
Um, but now the butcher's in Millie's body, he has to readjust his killing strategies. Um, and watching him adjust to all that is really entertaining to watch. Now, when you get beyond all this sort of thing and you get to the crux of the film, um, it, it's ultimately an incredibly predictive predictive film. You, you know, you, you're... You, you're not gonna not figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? If you're gonna, if you're going into this film thinking there's gonna be some um, rug pulled from under your feet in regards to what to expect here, then you're gonna be disappointed. But if you go into this film, I think with a fairly open mind, click your brain off, and have fun with it, there is a definitely a lot to enjoy here. I personally enjoyed this probably a bit more than his Happy Death Day films. Especially the second one. I thought the second one was pretty silly, if I'm honest. The first one was good. Um, but I enjoyed this a little bit more. Because, you know, I quite like slasher films. I like the whole silent killer, masked killer things. Um, and this plays around with familiar horror tropes. Um, but twists them on the head a little bit. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's some fun moments here. There's some definite moments that will make you giggle. But coupled with that, there are some very brutal kills it does not hold back at all with some of the kills here um and they are highly entertaining and and very graphic as you would hope they would be they didn't tone it down the horror and they definitely to uh, turned the volume up when it comes to the comedy they, they absolutely i think um delivered what the what what you would want this film to deliver you know knowing what it is going in knowing the concept when you read the synopsis and things going into this film understanding what you're getting um i, I failed to see how you would come out and say well that was rubbish um i, I personally quite enjoyed this i would be interested to add this to my collection if i'm being honest um i had a lot of fun with it would it have been as much fun without vince vaughn probably not for me, he absolutely does make the film. Um, he is definitely the best thing about this film. But there are definite moments here where, you know, you'll be sat in your chair giggling away at this film. And there'll be definite moments where you'll be sat in the chair kind of wincing at some of the kills. So it, it does what you want it to, this film. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't surprise. Um, but also at the same time, it doesn't disappoint. Um, it's one of those films that you will go into, um, you know, understanding what it is you're watching. And you, I fail to see how you would not come out at the end of it and say, yeah, I had a pretty good time with that one. Um, so, yeah, I, I think Michael Landon, uh, sorry, Michael Landon, <laughs> Christopher Landon, the writer and director of this, is, is obviously fairly talented. You know, he's he knows how to kind of put different and creative spins on very, very familiar horror tropes, and he's pretty effective at doing it. So I'd be interested to see what he could do next with the, you know, see what other um, genres he can kind of turn into horrors. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen Freaky, it's on Netflix not right now, certainly in the UK anyway, I'm not sure about the rest of the world. Uh, so it's definitely worth checking out. It's not going to blow your mind or anything like that, but it, it should certainly entertain. It did me anyway, so... Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful. I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.